Let's go ahead and start by navigating to the Home Movie Essentials Volume 1 folder. And once you're inside there, let's go ahead and drag Theater Intro down to the video layer. And we simply drop it right on top of the timeline. And to make things easier, let's go ahead and move the timeline slider to a point where the theater intro is visible. This will make it much easier once we add our text layer. And we add the text by using the Add Video Overlay Effects from the menu toolbar. Now once that tool has popped up, go ahead and click the Title tool. And let's go ahead and create or edit our title. Click the Title Overlay button. And now that our title overlay is pulled up, let's add our text by clicking in the white area where we want to add that text and just go ahead and begin typing. Now for this, let's go ahead and type in My First Movie and you'll notice that the formatting is not going to be correct. That's okay, we'll modify that in just a moment. Now let's go ahead and click off the text box and then click back on it again to select it. Change the style to black and modify the font type to Arial with a size of 34. We'll use the pre-formatted black text selection. And we go ahead and manually force our size down to 34. Now we need to go ahead and resize our text box and then drag the text box around so that we position it properly onto the video layer. Let's go ahead and add another layer of text by clicking the Add Text Field button. And this time, we're going to go ahead and type in our text and then change it to red. Let's type in Training Volume 1, and we'll use the same font, but we'll change it to red by clicking off of it, then reselecting it, We'll position it properly into place, and then use the pre-formatted red selection. And after we've done that, let's go ahead and we'll tweak it just a little bit more into position. And we'll go ahead and add our third and final layer of text. Now this layer of text is going to go up in the black area between the neon sign. Let's go ahead and type in Now Showing, and then we'll position this text layer correctly, and we'll modify the font to Arial Narrow and a size of 36. From our drop-down list, go ahead and choose Arial Narrow, and let's manually modify the font size to 36, and we'll reposition it slightly so that it's centered. Once we have the text perfect, we're going to click OK, and we're just about ready to preview our video. You'll notice after clicking OK that we have our video layer and our text layer, but the text layer does not extend all the way to the end of the video layer. To solve this problem, let's go ahead and drag the text clip to match the timeline of the theater intro. Left click and hold the far right side of the text layer and drag it until it snaps. And now we're ready to preview our movie. Let's go ahead and rewind it and hit the play button.